Who can you trust? Fake news, lying politicians, corrupted banks, nations in free fall. In a time of conflict, this is crucial. When neutral media has fled the scene and all we are left with is ourselves. The only thing certain is numbers. Me and Reza were hacking whatever system we could get into. Inserting worms, Trojan horses and spyware, hoping it would buy us and our families some time. But we were running out. Expecting anyone? No. Someone left this with your name on it. Creepy. What is it? From the moment I saw the photographs, I knew somebody had trusted us with their life. The blockchain is this new network of trust that enables transactions to be validated on computers. So now, instead of going to a third party, instead of going to an intermediary that could be a bank or a financial institution or, or a corporation that we trust today, the trust is going to be in the network of computers that are talking with each other, that are always in sync with each other, that always know about what each other is doing. So that's why we say that the blockchain is a trust network. How did you get here without any papers? Well, have you heard about blockchain? Okay, what has the blockchain to do with you being here with no papers? Well, before I fled, I uploaded all my documents into a digital grab bag. Okay, so you know computing. At that point, my life depended entirely on the blockchain. That's what kept me safe. You know, we all think that we live in free market. We don't. A free market is a free market where you have a choice of currency. We don't have that. We have a monopoly of currency. I totally lost myself in the writing. Gone was the escape, the photographs. Even Reza faded. But then it all came back and hit me like a bullet. Before people would say, well, what do you want to do with blockchain? And everyone says, well, we want to change the world. And it's like, well, you and everyone else, buddy, right? But uh, it is actually us and everyone else, right? It's you, it's me, it's the crew. It's uh, everyone is going to connect. And um, education is key. And if we empower people, we have more control over what happens in our society, be it for better or for worse. You know, we're not, we don't believe in fairy tales. Not everything's gonna be smooth, but with blockchain, it will help us develop future technology in a way that can be moderated to some degree by all of us. Can we put our trust in numbers? I don't know, but let me take a guess. We will always need to take the first step. Take a chance on that something or someone unknown. Let go and allow your trust in people to pull you over the gap.